Good morning. Happy Friday. I know I'm a few minutes early, but we are having a snowstorm here in New York. Um, and I did want to hop on and hopefully get through this before any video, uh, any internet issues. So if you could hop on, say hi, let me know where you're from. We got a lot to cover. So again, I apologize. I'm a couple minutes early. You may be just logging on. If you are, grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Okay. All right, Shirley. You you have the day off today and you can watch. Yay. Okay, we are on and live. Great. Hi, Stacy, Christine, Melinda. Thank you, Stacy. Definitely share my videos. And we're going to get started right away, okay? Because like I said, we're having a storm here in New York. I know it's probably going right up the coast. And we want to cover everything. So the first thing I want to do is remind you, let me just flip that, that if you belong to the Sweet Delicious Fun Fold Club, if, you're not ha if you have not paid your $40 for the next one, which starts March 1st, that's Abstract Beauty, you want to do that before February 28th, which is Monday so that uh, there's no uh, interruptions with your Fun Fold Club, okay? So that's something Donna and I do, and we've been um, putting it in our description, and if you need more information, you can always contact me. So that is our Fun Fold Club. Now, I also want to remind you, so many things going on. Uh, March 1st, you can order this new collection waves of the ocean. This is what I'm using for my March online class. If you sign up for this by February 28th, you will also receive a free gift from me. And there are three levels that you can join. Level one and two get the free gift. The third one is uh, the video only. So you definitely want to check into that. Okay. You do have until March 10th to sign up for my online classes. But if you want the mystery gift with um, options one and two, you have to sign up by February 28th, okay? All right, let's move this aside. And we're gonna get started with a few other things. I have a lot of stuff to share with you today, so I'm gonna go through it quickly, but you can check everything out on stampersdelight.com or my Facebook page later on. So, uh, if you missed it, I did a few cards with the every chapter and celebrating you. And of course, these are from the new mini catalog. So I'm just going to go through these fast because they are on the page, uh, Facebook page and my, my blog, stampersdelight.com. I absolutely love this. It's a single stamp set. Look at the, look at the rhinestones. You know, you had me at hello. You had me right at the glasses. When I saw those glasses up there, I knew I had to have it. And here's another one. And what I did was I colored everything in with my blends, depending on the background. So I used all the different designer series papers that we have in the mini. Not all of them, I guess, but most of them. And I made some great friendship cards. Now, you can make this into a birthday card. Here's a matching envelope. So if you missed it, you want to check those out because, again, this is a single stamp. It's it's gorgeous. The catalog doesn't do it justice. This, I thought, I didn't put any bling on this because I thought this could be a more masculine card, right? And here we go with that one. This one has, of course, our baseball uh, designer series paper back there because, hey, everybody loves baseball, right? It's chilly in Montana. I bet it is. <laughs> this was one of my Z Fold cards that I did with it. And then, of course, this one. So definitely check that stamp out. This is a gorgeous stamp, and you can actually just color it with your regular markers if you don't want the printing in there. You would just outline the whole stamp with markers. The other one you might not have caught, which... I think it's lost. Uh, this is the Rainbow of Happiness, of course, in the mini. And this one is in the annual catalog. We've had it for a while, A Wish for Everything. But these dies are so great. I mean, they cut out the words. 
And this is one of the few sets that we have that has anything for St. Patrick's Day. So I did a couple of St. Patrick's Day cards. May the luck of the Irish go double for you. This is just our uh, circle dies with some glitter paper I had left. And then this is the cloud punch that makes it look like the coins. And then, of course, another little punch I used. And the glitter paper, ombre glitter paper there. And then say, hey, St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day inside. Those dies, when you cut them out, do the happy St. Patrick's Day like that. And again, with the, the dies from the rainbow of happiness and the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. And then the last one, again, I had some of that black glitter paper left. You can use regular black. You can actually make it a pot of gold and have gold there. And again, I used the um, rainbow of happiness dies and the dies from A Wish for Everything. So you definitely want to check those out. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> for today, I'm going to show you the Burrows and Blossom bundle. That is on page 26. Icy in Ohio. Yeah, I think you guys got more ice. We're getting the snow, but this isn't real wood, but knock on it anyway. Um, they said up, up to like 12 inches, 10 inches where I am. It looks like we met, got maybe three or four right now. So it's not too bad, but it's still snowing. So this is the bundle I'm going to be using today. And this has a punch, no dies. So let me bring in a couple of the sample cards to show you. Here are the uh, actual stamp set and the uh, punch. Okay. You love this set? Thank you, Yvette. And it was so much fun last night. We had our team chat last night. And we do a share. And our share for this month was cards to, with using only black and white. Oh, my gosh. We got so many ideas. It was so much fun. I always say that we're going to be on for about an hour. And it always goes longer than that because we get chit-chatting. And it's so much fun. So if you'd like to join my team, don't forget that awesome uh, deal. The new starter kit ends on Monday, the 28th. So you definitely want to do that. Okay. All right. So for the blossoms, burrow and blossoms, the first card I did was this, whoop, this one. <laughs> and I got to tell you, the designer series paper that I liked with this one was the Hello Friendly in the Celebration catalog. So I had some of these. Um, now th these, let me back up here. These uh, punch right here does not go with this one okay it looks like it might but it really doesn't let me show you what i mean okay so you can't really cut this out so you have to do a little fussy cutting or you use the punch so back here i use the gold for the punches those two punches okay and then what i did fussy cut uh some of this green out i made a wreath added some of the flowers. Now I am using um, Magenta Madness, which is one of the ones that are retiring. And I just made a wreath with a nice little thank you on there. And then inside I always leave my thank yous blank because I want to put my own message in there. And I think this one in this pink inside here is the polished pink. So I kind of mixed both. So that was the first one. Of course I added Wink Estella. The next one that I did, I made it look more like a wood background. It almost matches this right here. And again, I got it upside down. Again, I did a wreath. I used our vellum shimmer paper and cut a bunch of these out. And then added some of the other greenery, which you do have to fussy cut, and this. And some of those flowers with uh, this flower and this one I used for both of those. So these colors that I used are pale papaya, bumblebee, which is also retiring, um, flirty flamingo, I have Bermuda Bay, and pool party and coastal cabana. So those are really the colors I used. Don't worry about it. They'll be in the description later, okay? So another thank you card with the wood background. And of course, now these right here, these little gems, which I forgot to mention, the gems on here are from the in color little gems. And guess what? These are from the new wave of the ocean because they have the coastal cabana 
and pool party. I think those are the colors, but they, they matched it. Okay, thank you, Deborah. Deborah says, so pretty. And then inside here, again, I just did some of the flowers. And you can add some Winka Stella to that if you wanted to. I think I just did the flowers on this. The next one I did, if you caught my other, uh, my video from, I think it was Monday night, where I did the dahlias and I did a gatefold card. So this is a gatefold card, but it's got a belly band on it. So it's the same thing I did, but I made a belly band. So this one, when you pull that out, there's your gatefold. All right. And um, for the, for the one I did with the dahlias, I had a pattern here or a die. So this one just opens up like this. I used the pale papaya and the coast and the uh, Bermuda Bay. And then I can just slide that belly band on right here. You can see I needed some thank you cards. Just slide that right on there. Oh, you love the wood background? I do too. So that is my belly band card. The next one I'll show you is what I'm going to show you today. It's another fun fold quick, easy, pull-out fun fold. And here's the front of it. So you can see I have the pale papaya. I have the um, pool party. And then some of the uh, colors that I already mentioned. Okay, they'll be in the description later. And then you just pull this piece out. A little hello. It's been too long. But you notice when this is inside the card... You also have some of those beautiful gems up here. Again, these are the Wave of the Ocean gems. And just a quick, cute card. And this is also great to put a gift card in. Okay. So just a real easy, fun fold today that I think you're going to enjoy. Let me show you another one. Again, using that same paper. I had a lot of it left. Still do. It's probably one of my favorites. And here I just used some, this was from one of the other, Ranunculus Romance, I think. One of the other stamp sets. I had a piece laying around, so I just threw that behind there. But you can see that I used the glitter paper. Now this does say blue in the catalog, but I call it iridescent because it picks up whatever color you're using. And I have some more um, of those uh, punches cut out. And this one says hello. And you can see also I use those in-color gems. A little hello. And pop that out. And you can put your little message in there. Okay. Now, I will put some dimensions on the, the blog later. I'll be honest with you. I didn't really. I just played around with this because you've probably seen this fun fold I did before. But it was folding it and then having the piece pull out. Um, it is on my YouTube channel. You can go back and look at it. But for this one, I just took a piece of uh, four and a quarter. So half a sheet. All right. And I always like to give this. So I didn't write dimensions down because it really doesn't have dimensions. But I will write down what I did. Um, so it's four and a quarter by 11. Hey, listen, if you've been watching me long enough, you know sometimes I just fly by the seat of my pants. I'm going to go ahead and score that in half. And this, of course, is Bermuda Bay. And this is what I was talking about. I just took that corner, put the corner right there. So you can make this slice off as large or as small as you want. You can angle it right here and have a smaller piece. Or you can angle it this way and have a larger one. So let's bring that in. Let's play. Okay. So here is the one. Let's do this one. So this one I had right about here when I cut it off. So let's make it a little bit smaller and see what it looks like. Since we already know what this looks like, right? This is, we're going to just make it a little bit smaller here. So I'm just going to cut that off. Slice it that way. So now when you fold it, you can see that I have a smaller slice up there. Let's see what it looks like when we're done. Okay, I still do need this, but... While I'm waiting, I am going to take my bone folder and I'm going to give it a good burnishing. I am actually going to use my liquid glue for this, and I'll tell you why. Because I really need, a, I need it to stay together, 
but I want a very thin line. So my stamp and seal is a little too wide for that, unless I go off the paper, which I can. But I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid glue. You can see I'm using very little. Okay. Yes, please share my videos. Tell all your friends to watch me. If you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching on Facebook, just leave me a message. Okay, so I am going to actually put this on there. Let that dry. Now I'm going to grab the two pieces that I have of uh, cardstock and designer series paper. So they would actually line up just like this. Now, you can actually glue these down if you want. This is going to, see, I've already cut this. So let me give you those measurements. Okay, this is four and a quarter. This one would be four by five and a quarter. This is going to be three and three quarters by five. Standard, standard um, cuts that I do. And then we're going to cut it this way. Okay, so let's put that back. Let me bring in my paper trimmer. And again, I didn't really measure this other than that. I'm going to go ahead and glue this right down. I'm going to do one cut. Hey, if I can save myself time, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to take that paper. I'm going to put that right here. And then I'm just going to slice off a little bit. I'm not measuring it. You see, I'm not measuring it. Okay. I'm just going to slice off a little bit. I'm eyeballing it. And if it it's too big, I can always trim more of it. So I'm going to go right like that. Just trim off. This is actually a real quick fun fold. You can do at any time. And then there's my cut. So let's see. And there you go. Look at that. So right there, I'm going to pull that up so you can see that I have an edge. That's all I had to do with that. How easy is that? What I am going to change on this one is I'm going to put some ribbon to it first. And this is our pool party. This is in the annual catalog. Please don't forget the annual catalog, especially, um, you know, things go back ordered that are uh, hot items. And we forget about the great items in the annual catalog. So let me go ahead and glue this down. So I'm going to go all the way around with this. I keep looking so far, knock on wood, we're good. I'm gonna lay that right on top of here. And we'll do the inside in a minute. So what I would do is I would take, I'm gonna just bring this paper in. I would take some of these flowers and start stamping. Oh my gosh, look at that. Let's take maybe um, pale papaya, grab the other one. Okay, and then we would even grab some green and do some of the leaves. Okay, and then we would take our scissors and we would fussy cut. Now, I would use my paper snips for this. Let me just grab those, which are probably on the other table. So we're just gonna go with this. Okay, so I would fussy cut. And then, voila, I got some already cut out here. Look at that, look how fast I cut. So I'm just gonna grab some of these pieces that I've already cut out. I want some other colors, so let's bring in some other colors. Okay, I'm gonna grab these. Let's see what else we got here. I did a lot of them. All right, I'm just gonna leave those there for a minute. Okay, so now we got all our flowers. Let's use our punch. I'm gonna bring in some of our vellum shimmery vellum. I'm also going to bring in some of that. Oh, I got a smaller piece here. Let's use that. So I've got some of that pale papaya shimmery vellum, and I've got some of that blue or iridescent. 
glimmer paper. Cut up as many as you want. You're going to use whatever you want here. Okay, we're going to use that. Let's do some green, too. Okay, let's add some green. And this is a great way to use up some of your scraps. Let's see, I got a piece in here. This is the soft succulent, I believe. Yes. And we're going to add some of those. Angle that so I can... There, so I can use that up. That's good. Then let's put together some flowers, okay? So looking at this picture right here, and it doesn't have to be the same colors, okay? I'm going to use the Bermuda Bay. You can see there's no Calypso Coral in there, but I'm going to use it anyway. I'm going to use one of my pale papayas. Let's see, what other color do we want to use in here? Let's use a bumblebee. So I would put it like that. And then I'm just going to flip those over so I can remember the way I had them. Although they probably won't go back down on there the same way. I'm going to go ahead and grab some dimensionals. You love the color combination? Thank you, Yvette. These colors are some of my favorites. And this one has fresh freesia in there. It's got a little pool party. But you don't have to go exactly for the same colors that are in there. But I will tell you, it's a place to start. And I think I've said this before. One of the things I like to do is when I'm designing with designer series paper, I do start with the colors that are in the paper. I grab a couple of inks. I grab some um, cardstock, ribbon, gems, whatever. And I start from there. It gets my creative juices going. Okay, so I'm going to put that all right there, just like that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a bunch of these. So I like that one right there. So I'll do that. Let's, I think I'm going to do some more of the glitter. I really like the glitter. I think it adds so much to it. So we're going to do some more glitter. Okay. So I'm going to have the other one. Let's see if I have room. I can tuck this one right under here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. We've got lots of pieces over here we're going to be using. don't want to go off the edge make sure that's down I probably need a couple more dimensionals I'm going to tuck that under there I can cut off the piece if I want I just don't want it to go any further than my card and it doesn't there we go good morning you're on vacation oh you're on vacation back in Florida lucky you <laughs> okay so now I'm going to grab some of that shimmer paper there. I'm going to add that one right there. And let's see. I, do I have another one? Okay, so let's go with a green down here. So we're going to change up. We're going to just have a little green and add the green under here. Okay, that fits. So I'm going to add the green. So you see I have the pale papaya there, but now I'm going to add a green one in here. Okay, so that's it so far. So you can mix and match. Don't forget, this is my host code for February if you'd like to place an order with me. Okay, use that host code. Also, don't forget to check out the um, apparel shop. We actually have a new mug on there, and coming soon we'll be matching sweatshirts, T-shirts, and everything like that. I'm not going to tell you what it says. Go check it out. I have mine on order. You're going to love it. StampersDelightShop.com. You are going to love the new mug and the new, um, well, it's a, it's a tank top that's there right now. Uh, but you're going to, there will be a sweatshirt. But you're going to love what it says. Trust me. Okay, so there I have some more flowers so or leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glue to those. Matter of fact, I think later today I'm going to order my mug with the new say saying on it. And probably the tank top for the summer. Maybe if I order that, it'll get here sooner. And this one. So I'm laying these down flat here. So now I have that beautiful... 
array of flowers. I still have a lot of pieces here, so I want to use some of those up. So let's add some more glitter, maybe right here. I could just keep going with this. And we'll add one more right there. Let's add this one up here. Okay. All right. Like I said, I could keep going with this, so I better stop. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that ribbon again. I'm going to add a bow. I hope if it's snowing or icing where you are that you can stay home today. If you have to go out, please be careful. Okay, we are going to snip this off. Snip that off. And then I'm going to add the bow. And I'm going to add the bow probably right about here. I want to make sure I have room. Yes, I do. Now, I do use glue dots, but I did want to also show you that you can put some of your stamp and seal right directly on that bow. It's nice and sticky. And we'll add that bow right there. I am actually going to bring in my gems from the uh, Waves collection because they really do match. And I'm going to grab a large one for here. And then I got some medium sized ones. I'll just add those. Maybe a little guy right there. And then a large one here, a couple smaller ones. Okay, so there's my card, my outside of my card, right? You have to go out. Oh, you got a dentist appointment. Oh, sorry about that. Now you're going to bring in another piece of your basic white. And this you're going to cut down a little bit. Okay. So I will give that again. I will put all the measurements in. This one I am going to actually cut. I could save that for something else. I'm going to cut. This is uh, normally my four by five and a quarter. I'm going to make this. I'm going to start with three and a quarter three and three quarters see if that fits in there I might have to cut it down a little bit I can leave the five and a quarter though because I want it to stick out and by using that little glue you can see that I can get this in there but if you want it to come out easier just cut it down a little bit more to the th three and a half mark by five and a quarter and then it's a little easier to get in and out. So I would go with that. And when you have it in there, it peeks out of the top like that. And I'm going to pull that out. And we're going to do a little stamping on that. So I'm going to go ahead, and I don't remember what color I had this one in. So we're going to just stamp. And this one's pale papaya, I believe. So let's start there. And then I've got some of the Bermuda Bay. I'm going to put some Bermuda Bay over here. I'm going to do the same thing. Whoop, wrong one. Let me clean that. I don't want that color. I wanted to keep the colors the same. So let me bring in my Stampin' Scrub and just clean those off. So I'm thinking when I slide that in here... I want some of those flowers to show over here. So I'm going to put some flowers over there too. I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then again, here, flip that around here. Look at, I got that one little spot. I might as well put a little flower in there, right? So let's go with this one, put it right on top. Now I have a nice little border. Could actually do the whole border, but I want a little bit of a place to write my note. So when I tuck that in, you can see the flower sticking out there. I'm going to grab a strip do, 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 that I already have cut. I keep my strips because they're perfect for some of the sentiments. I'm going to use, let's see, we got a, a little hello. It's been too long. So let's do a little hello in the Bermuda Bay. My head might be in the way. I apologize. Okay, I stamped that. Not so not so great. It's, it's hard because I don't want to put my head right in your way, but I might have to. 
Okay, so we're going to go with the hello, little hello. We're going to tuck that back here. Just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put dimensionals, I think, on this. So let's grab the dimensionals. Again, this is, if you love to do, if you really love to do fun folds and you're looking for a quick, easy fun fold, this is the one for you. Okay. We're going to add that. I'm going to just lift that flower up there. I'm going to put that right there. A little hello. When you pull this out, hi, Randy. When you pull this out, it's going to say it's been too long. And slide that right back in. And there you have a quick, easy, fun fold, note card, birthday card, whatever you want to make it. You love this fold? Thank you. Okay. And then, of course, we're going to grab our envelope and make that match. So let's use the pale papaya. Since I have the pale papaya, we're going to stamp that. I'm going to grab the Bermuda Bay. Just add some flowers to it. And then, if you so desire, guess what? We can always add some Wink Estella, and I'm going to do that now. You can do that ahead of time. I Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I'm not sure if I want to, but I decided I want to. <laughs> so I'm just adding some of the Wink Estella here, a little maybe on any leaves that are sticking out. So it adds a little shimmer and shine. What do you think? You Oh, thank you for the heart, Yvette. All right, who wants to do another one? You got time for another one? So far, I haven't lost anybody, so. <laughs> Let me show you the gatefold card again with um, the belly band. So this one is the Smoky Slate. And again, you can um, go ahead and score this. I do it at two and an two and an eighth on each side, I think it is. So you would score this, or you can just, that's one way you do it. And when you score it, you would score both ends. But I'm gonna show you another way too. If you don't wanna do that, you can just bring the edges into the middle. So either way works. So I showed you both ways on one piece of cardstock. And there we go. Please don't forget to share my videos. Tell your friends to watch me. Send me some comments. Don't forget to sign up for the Waves of the Ocean. And then we layer the on here. So this is uh, two and an eighth. This would be two inches. This would be about one and three, one and three fourths. The measurements for this will be up later. It's the same as the gatefold card I did the other day. Oh, look at that paper on that side. Isn't that beautiful? But I wanted to use the wood side. Always keep going. Oh, I almost forgot. Um, the last last video I did, I picked three winners for three of the cards that I was showing. Jill Peterson, you won one. Uh, Betty Clark won one. And I forgot who the other one is, but I will post that later. So I just need everybody's... Uh, I need Betty's address jill i believe i have yours but send it just in case so yeah i did the giveaway for a card for three cards and if you allow me when i'm done i'll run over and get the third name because it might be you you never know so we're going to go ahead and glue those pieces down and there i have looks like double doors right Folding to the center works for you too. Me too. Okay, so the belly band, and again, this is just a gatefold card with a belly band, so it's another fun fold for you. This is one and a half inches. You can make it as thin or as, as, um, as wide or as thin as you want. And then, of course, it's the length of the cardstock, which is 11. So it's one and a half by 11. You don't need the whole thing. You can cut it down. I find it easier to play with the whole thing at first. So what I do is I lay it right in the middle. You can score it if you want, but I just 
flip it over like this. Now, you definitely want to use your bone folder and make sure that you have room to move that belly band. I will give you a little tip. If you just bend the card a little bit, you can slide it on and off. I, I tend to leave the extra and just glue it down a little bit more because it adds, you're going to be moving that belly band up and down and it adds some strength to it. So I'm just going to do that. Okay. And then you see that it still slides. And if it doesn't, you can just bend the card a little bit. We're going to go ahead and grab some of those flowers that I have. I'm just picking some different ones out here. Let's see what other colors I have. I don't. Okay, got this one and this one. So we'll go with those. I want this color in there too. So we're throwing that one out for a second. And we're gonna, oh, we got a diamond on there. Wish it was a diamond. Okay, and then I am going to just add my flowers. Now remember to keep them within that belly band. So I'm gonna grab some dimensionals. What a great way to spend a snowy morning, right? Doing some stamping. So, Stacy, I believe you're the one that said you really like the wood background. So, this one you might like, too. To me, it looks like maybe doors of a house with a little wreath. We're going to tuck that one right in there. I'm going to grab this one. Good morning, Annette from Canada. How's the weather up there? We're going to tuck this one right there. Look at that. Okay, let's see what we got left here. We got these cute little guys. Let's put those around. We got another one like this. Do I have another one there? No, but I got these little, little guys here. Let me see what else I got in there. Grab some more of these. Got a little green one. I'm just using up the pieces here. And, oh, we got this long one. Maybe we'll use that. Let me see what else I got. I got plenty here. Okay. I think we'll start with this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead again and put some glue on this. Using up these pieces of shimmer paper, things like that. Just add some of those. And a little bit more here. Okay, let's go with the darker green that I have here. This, I believe, was the shaded spruce. And I'm going to add those around here. I'll go ahead and add that. This I'm going to use dimensionals again, too. Tuck that in there. You love the flowers? Oh, thanks, Randy. Thanks, Cindy. I'm going to tuck that one in right about here. Look at that. And of course, adding some Winka Stella will make it pop. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to get a little sentiment here. And I am going to take, do, 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 let me think here. How do I want to do this? I'll make this a thank you card. And for this one, I'm going to use, well, I got the Bermuda Bay out here. Let's use that. Nice little thank you card. I'm going to just snip that off. I'm going to get that piece off there because I'm going to do this cut that way. The thank you can go right here. And again, I'm going to put dimensionals on it. Only two. Add the thank you right there. So now that's the card. 
to open it up, of course, you pull this off. Let's do the inside real quick. And it would go like that. Let's grab a piece of our basic white. And I'm just going to stick with the colors that I have already inked up, okay? So we're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. Uh, we're going to grab this with the pale papaya. Add some flowers. I got some pear pizzazz here. Not the green that I used before, but we're going to add a little green to it, okay? And we're going to add, uh, let me see, I think I want this one. I'm going to grab this. I just got ink all over my fingers. Okay, and we're just going to add a little green going around here. See, I'm stamping right over that. Just a touch of green. Does the punch twigs, no, it doesn't have stamps to match. They're just, um, it's, up, it's just a punch. It does look like it matches, but it doesn't. Okay, and again, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let me grab a piece of paper here. So let's just grab a piece of paper. This would be the one that's closest, and if you stamp that, you're going to see that it doesn't quite line up, even if I did it this way. Okay, it doesn't match that. No matter how you try, which I have, it doesn't quite fit in there. You see, the stem is cur is curved, so this does not match any of the beautiful stamps that we have with this. Okay, so now I'm going to put my belly band back on because I'm not quite done with this. You see, I have to bend it a little bit just to get it in there. Okay. I am going to bring in some more. Oh, let's see. I think I'll add a little ribbon to it when I figure out where I put my ribbon this time. Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's add a little ribbon to this. Oh, yeah, spring can come any day. You got that right. I am so ready for spring. We talked about that last night, I think, and my flowers came up. Or maybe it was when I went out to lunch with my family yesterday. And uh, we had some flowers pop up in the yard because it was 70 or 60-something, 60, 60 rather, on Wednesday. And now it's freezing out there. Crazy weather. Okay, I'm going to add a little bow. I don't know where I want to add that bow, though. What do you think? Here? Oh, yeah, I think it looks nice there. Okay, so we're going to add it right on there. Maybe tuck it under here. So you can still see. Oh, yeah. So you can still see the leaves. Now, I would add some Winca Stella, um, but you don't have to. Since we did it on the other one, I'll leave this without it. And then I'm going to bring in, of course, those rhinestones again. For the um, waves because they just match these colors so well and for this one I'm gonna go with the lighter one and add some small ones in here they don't have to match the cart the color of the flowers they kind of pick up a little bit on their own and we're just gonna grab a few of these and there I have another gatefold card you like the gatefold the best with the belly band. Uh, well, you know what? This is actually one of my favorite. They're all my favorites. Who am I kidding? Okay, so let's bring in an envelope and decorate the envelope. And for this one, I think I'm going to use this other stamp. Let's use some of these. Right? And how about this one in the pale papaya? I'm going to go right over top of that. So you can see some of the other stamps. And you can see I just stamped right over that. And, okay, let's do one more. Let's do this one. This is in Bermuda Bay, but I'm actually stamping off a bit, so it's lighter. Lighter. 
And I just added a little bit more color to it. So what do you think? Which one's your favorite? We've got this one. We've got the hello, little hello. We have a couple more of those. Well, let's let's put it this way. Which fold did you like today? We won't, I won't ask you which card. How about which fold? Okay, you've got the pull-out card or the gate fold. Pull out, pull out, gate fold, and then of course some extras. Gatefold, gatefold. Okay, so it looks like a lot of gatefold lovers out there. You loved them both. All right, Stacy, thank you. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget if you're watching this on YouTube to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're watching on Facebook, uh, obviously watch me on Facebook. And definitely leave me comments. Let me know which one you liked, which one... Um, was your favorite? Which fold? And again, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great weekend and keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.